Antibiotic resistance is one of the most pressing public health concerns today. It is when bacteria develop the ability to survive exposure to drugs that have been developed to kill them or stop their growth. Every year in the U.S., over 2.8 million people get infected with antibiotic-resistant infections, and 35,000 of those people will die. One of the new tools that we have available to monitor antibiotic resistance is wastewater surveillance. Here at University of South Carolina, we have been studying antibiotic-resistant bacteria in wastewater treatment facilities that treats the waste of a, a broader community. Wastewater surveillance programs have increased in popularity because it allows us to have an early warning system. We have the ability to say there's something going on in the community now and we need to take some sort of action. When COVID-19 hit, we had two big questions that we needed to address. How do we know how much of this infection is present in our communities? And is the virus that we're detecting in wastewater infectious? And we realized that we had the ideal platform to answer both of those questions in this investment that we'd already made in this antibiotic resistance project with the University of South Carolina. My lab was already researching antibiotic resistance, so we were able to quickly switch gears to looking at the prevalence of SARS-CoV-2 within wastewater to have another data point to slow the spread of COVID-19. The findings from this project with the University of South Carolina provided critical foundational data for the establishment of the National Wastewater Surveillance System. And that system has grown rapidly. It's now in 37 states, four cities, and two territories. Wastewater is a goldmine of data and information for public health. It will help us save lives.